Hi, how you doing? My name is Locke. I'm from 2MCCTV.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Neo MultiView and just go over the basic functions. Now, if you still have your GeoVision CD, you could stick that CD in and just download, uh, well, just install where it says Neo MultiView when the CD pops up. If you don't have the CD, uh, you can go to their main website and download it. And that's what I'm going to do right now. We're going to go to usavisionsys.com. When we get there, we're going to go to download. We're going to click on software and utility. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on something where it says multi view. Then we're just going to click on where it says multi view.zip. This is the file that we want to download. So after the file has downloaded, once you open it up, you should get a folder that says multi view. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it to my desktop. And when I click on it, it will have the file where I could install the DM multi view. So I'm just going to click. The installation is going to run. It should take about probably a minute to two minutes. Okay, so we're just going to click next and then it'll start loading the file onto our computers. Okay, once it's done installing, as you can see it has a it gave me an icon on my computer, but I'm just waiting to for it to wrap up. Looks like I still got a little bit to go. Okay, so now it's done installing, and as you can see, that black command prompt went away, and there's nothing else popping up. And usually, when you do uh, finish installing DMOS view, the icon is different. For some reason, I don't know why mine is just showing a white icon. But, anyways, go ahead and click on it. And once you click on it, you're going to get prompted with a login page. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hit edit. And you're going to type in the IP address of your uh, main system that you want to view. And if you change any ports in that main system, make sure you change it right here. So, for example, let's say I have a system at my business and I want to, um, to view it from my home and I'm using DM MultiView. If I change my HTTP port over there at my, um, at my other system to 81, I'll have to put 81 here. Then I'll type in the IP address. And then I'll type in username and password. Then I hit OK. But basically, that's just how you install the DM Multi View. I'm just going to go ahead and make an, a second video with how to log in and um, go over the basic settings of the DM Multi View. But thanks for watching this video. Make sure you check out our other videos at 2MCCTV.com.